In this video we will show how to set up SSL VPN connection. SSL VPN enables remote users to access private network resources via a secure pathway. We are going to look at two different SSL VPN scenarios. SSL VPN web mode allows remote users to securely access all applications in the web browser. The limitation of the web-based mode is that the remote user can only access browser-based applications. SSL VPN tunnel mode allows remote users to securely access web browser and non-web browser based applications in a private network. SSL VPN tunnel mode can be configured as full tunnel or a split tunnel. In the full tunnel mode scenario, the remote user will access the internet via the secure tunnel using FortiClient. This of course can cause heavy load on the VPN connection and slow the connection speed. In the split tunnel mode, the remote user will access the private network through a secure VPN tunnel using the FortiClient, client but the remote user will still be able to access the internet directly without going through the SSL VPN. The FortiGate setup follows the same steps for both the web and the tunnel mode, with only minor differences. We are going to configure the interface and the firewall address. Then we will create a user entry for the remote user and VPN portal. After that we will configure VPN settings and create a firewall policy. Next we are going to connect to our FortiGate web interface. We will configure the interface and the firewall address. In our case the port 1 interface connects to the internal network and port 4 is the internet facing interface. Go to Network Interfaces and edit the Internet Facing Interface. Set the IP Network Mask. Edit Port 1 Interface and set its IP Network Mask. Click OK. Next configure the user and the user group. Your FortiGate license comes with two free mobile Forti tokens that are already installed on the FortiGate. You can also purchase additional Forti token licenses and apply them to the FortiGate. We already created a local VPN user and added it to the VPN group. Now we will edit this user and add a two-factor authentication. Enter the user's email address. Enable two-factor authentication and select one mobile token from the list. Enable send activation code and select email. The user will receive an email with the instructions on how to install the mobile 40 token app. We will go over that shortly. Next configure the SSL VPN portal. Go to VPN SSL VPN portals to create a VPN portal. Give it a name. Enable the tunnel mode if you are setting up SSL VPN for the tunnel mode. Configure the other options as applicable. Configure the host check. The host check allows FortiGate to refuse a connection to the remote user based on certain criteria. For example, if the user operating system or operating system type fail to meet a certain criteria. If applicable, enable web mode. In our case, we will enable both the tunnel and the web modes. Configure the applicable options. You can set up predefined bookmarks too. This can save time for multiple remote users who would not have to define the bookmarks themselves. You can also enable 40 client download for the remote users. This way the remote users will have an option to download the 40 client from a specific location on the internal network. Next configure SSL VPN settings. Go to VPN SSL VPN settings. For listen on interfaces, select the internet facing interface of the 40 gate. Configure the listening port for the internet facing interface. Notice that the IP address here is showing the internal IP address of the internet facing interface. The remote user will actually be using an external IP map to this one. Choose a certificate for the server certificate. The default is Fortinet Factory. Specify the mode for assigning client settings. In the authentication portal mapping, set the portal to the one you created earlier. By default, all users and user groups will use the same portal. You can also assign different users and user groups to different portals. To do that, create a new authentication portal mapping for users or user group. 
configure SSL VPN firewall policy. Go to policy and objects and create a new firewall policy. Fill in the firewall policy name. Incoming interface must be the SSL VPN tunnel interface. Choose the outgoing interface. Set the source to all. If you have a specific user group, add it to the source as well. Set the destination. In our case, we will set it to all. Alternatively, you can restrict the destination to a specific internal subnet. Set schedule to always, service to all, and action to accept. Fill out the rest of the settings as needed. Enable this policy and click OK. Next, let's go to the remote client. First thing we are going to do here is open the 40 token activation email. The email contains a documentation link to various 40 token scenarios. You can install 40 token app on the Android or iOS. In this demo, we are using an Android simulator to install the 40 token app. Once the app is installed, we simply scan the QR code found in the email to activate the 40 token app. 40 token app generates codes that we will use for the second factor authentication. We will use this code later when we connect through VPN. Next, we are going to look at the VPN connection using the tunnel mode. Download 40 client from www.fortyclient.com. Open the 40 client console and go to remote access. Click on settings, add a new connection. Set VPN type to SSL VPN. Set remote gateway to the IP of the listening 40 gate interface. Remember that the remote user will use the external facing IP address. Select customize port and set it to the same number as you did in the 40 gate SSL VPN settings. Use the credentials you've set up to connect to the SSL VPN tunnel. Because we have a two factor authentication enabled, we will also get prompted for the 40 token code. We will type in the code as it's generated on the mobile. Once the connection is established, we can see the IP address assigned to the remote user. Now let's go back to FortiGate and show how to view current VPN users. In version 6.4, the SSL VPN monitor is not visible by default and needs to be added. Go to the dashboard and add SSL VPN monitor widget. You can resize it and place as needed. Now we can see our active SSL VPN user session here. Now let's disconnect from the current session and show the SSL VPN web mode connection. In a web browser, we will log into the portal using the credentials you've set up and provide the 40 token code. In the portal with the predefined bookmark, select the predefined bookmark to start a session. Users also have the ability to create their own bookmarks. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching. And for more videos, please go to video.fortinet.com.